Check, check. Am I on? I upgraded my gear and I have no idea how to use it. Hopefully I can figure out how to use it. <laughs> What's up everybody? I hope you're doing well. I've always been so curious about like, what is the most ideal, perfect, ideal therapist schedule out there. Not just how many clients to see per week, but also like how many clients you see per day. How many total days per week do you work? How many clients do you see back to back? Do you have to work evenings or weekends? All of that good stuff. So in today's video, I set out to answer this question via an informal survey sent out to my email list and I received 125 responses. Woo, I was not expecting that many. Thank you so much to all of you who responded without you this video wouldn't be possible. I mean, it would just be me sharing my thoughts, which it, it's not the same thing. I'm releasing this as both a short form video, which is what you're watching now, and an extended cut podcast version of this video. So if you really wanna do kind of a deep dive into the nitty gritty of all the little details that people shared about, I recommend you check out the podcast version because I'll be covering so much more in that one. And I've linked to the podcast version of this video below. I'm pretty sure my audience skews quite heavily towards being in private practice just by the nature of my channel and all of that. So the first question I just wanted to know was of the folks responding on average, how many therapy clients did folks see per week? Now I'm not talking about time spent in supervision, time spent writing notes, our billing or other admin things. And there was quite a wide range of responses, right? About 75% of folks fell in the range between 10 to 24 clients a week, spread pretty evenly across all of those. So 30% of people said they see on average 10 to 14 clients a week and 20% of people said they see 15 to 19 clients per week and 25% of people said they see somewhere around 20 to 24 clients per week. Now with that said, there's still a good like 20% or so who fell below and above that number per week. It was only one person who responded saying they see less than five per week. And then in the five to nine clients per week range, it was about 9% of folks. And then in the 25 to 29 therapy clients per week, it was 7% of folks. Ooh, I get a little nervous inching up into these numbers, but in the 30 to 34 therapy clients per week, 6% of people were in that category. And then I just had one last category for 35 or more. Two people, which is only less than 2% of people who responded, said they see more than 35 clients per week, which, ooh, okay, okay. And it's taking me a long time to come to realize that somewhere around the 15 to 20 client hour mark per week is full time. Even if your admin time isn't that much or all that, all of that, the emotional toll that it takes to spend 15 to 20 hours doing therapy work per week, there's not much margin left after that for most people to keep seeing more therapy clients, even if there's hours in your schedule to do so. So it's not too surprising to see that most folks are seeing less than 25 clients per week. Though of course there are still folks who are pushing up above that, but not a majority of people. The next question that I wanted to ask about is how much time folks spend on admin tasks? Because I know that this can vary so much depending on if you're in private practice, if you take insurance or not, if you work for an agency or not, the amount of paperwork, billing, trainings, all that kind of stuff can vary quite a bit depending on what kind of setting that you're in. So for this question, how many hours per week do you spend on work tasks other than direct client hours, such as notes, billing, marketing, consultation, trainings, things like that. In the one to two hours a week range was 11% of people. In the three to four hours a week range was 30% of people. And then in the five to nine hours a week range, which was 28% of people. And then in the 10 to 14 hours a week range was 20% of people. And then once we start going past that, there's not too many people left. So the 15 to 19 hours a week range was 5% of people. And then 20 or more was also 5% of people. I am a little surprised by how much time people are spending on admin tasks. But to see that there's a pretty solid, like almost 30% of people who are doing 
10 or more hours per week and to see that there's 10% of people doing 15 or more hours per week on admin, it stresses me out. Just can you imagine? I mean, maybe you can because you're one, maybe one of these people. Can you imagine spending 15 hours a week on like notes, billing, consults, trainings? Mm, it's just a lot of people. I was surprised. Another question that comes up often for therapists is like, can we reasonably work within typical business hours, like Monday through Friday, nine to five kind of thing? And this was a check all that apply type of situation. So of everyone who responded, 95% of folks do see therapy clients at least somewhat during typical business hours. And then 48% of people said they do work evenings. And then 15% of people said that they work weekends. It's more than I thought it was going to be. Maybe you absolutely love working those hours, but as we're going to see in some of the more detailed responses later, not everyone is happy with those hours. Okay, the next question was about whether you are in control of setting your own work hours. And first I had it as a yes, no question, but at the last minute I was editing the survey and I decided to throw in the somewhat option. And I'm glad I did because it turns out that 13% of people said they, they are somewhat in control of their work hours, though the vast majority, 84% said that they are completely in control of setting their own work hours. And then only two and a half percent said that they're not in control of their work hours at all. I'd be curious for the folks who said somewhat, like which parts of their schedule they are in control of and which parts they're not. Okay, and the next question that I asked was, how happy are you with your current schedule? And I did a Likert scale, ranging from one to five. So one was super unhappy with your current schedule and five was extremely happy, but it stands out that of everyone who responded, zero people said one, meaning super unhappy. The category that had the most responses was 47% of people who responded with the number four, one notch lower than extremely happy. And then 25% of people saying three, so right in the middle of the road. And then 17% of people who gave a five saying that they feel extremely happy with their schedule. And then 11% of people who gave a two, meaning they're at least somewhat unhappy with their current schedule. So that's like close to 90% of people at a three or above on this one to five Likert scale, which I think is pretty impressive. But overall, folks are generally okay, at least with their schedule. Then I decided to ask this optional question. What changes do you think would make you feel happier about your work schedule? And then I had check boxes that folks could check or they could write in and answer. And of the check boxes that I provided, 36% of people said that fewer client hours would make them feel more satisfied. 35% of people said less admin time, like notes, billing, and things like that, which totally makes sense to me given just how many people offered such high responses to my question asking about how much admin time they're spending each week. And then 26% of people said that they'd be helped by having more clients to see. And then 10% of people check the box for being in control of my own schedule. So I did give folks also the option on this one to write in their response. I tried to kind of categorize loosely some of these responses. And the theme that popped up most frequently in people's write-in responses was having more control of their schedule. So again, this is kind of interesting because I have 12 responses in this category that folks wrote in, but then the vast majority of people said that they feel like they have control over their schedule. So I wonder that that idea of being somewhat in control, but somewhat not is kind of coming up here. Being fairly newly qualified, I accepted clients whenever suited them. So my schedule is too spread out. Oh no, I would like to condense the hours into blocks that that suit me. Now this kind of highlights the category of person who in theory on paper has control over their schedule, but they decided to uh, let things kind of slip out of their hands and let kind of their clients dictate their schedule a little bit. And I'm seeing some of that theme pop up in some of these other responses as well. There's kind of this question of like, even when in theory we're in control of our own schedule, like how much control do we actually take? Hmm things to think about. Another category that folks responded to is that folks were saying they would really like to work less evenings or weekends or both. Less late appointments. Sometimes I go until 8 p.m. <laughs> if you don't want that, that is just 
It doesn't feel good to hear that. Some folks named some pay related concerns, getting paid my full rate so that I can see less clients. Are you not getting paid your full rate? I wonder what that is. Maybe you have a sliding scale or something. And then I left an optional space for folks to just share any other comments they'd like to name about their schedule. Again, we see the pay related concerns come up. I end up being more generous with my availability for the sake of wanting to earn more. I know that I would much rather have fewer hours, but because of my financial situation, it seems important possible right now. There are definitely ways to improve this, but that's a really tough situation to be in to feel like I'm in control of my own schedule, but not really because the clients that I'm seeing are, I'm only getting compensated so much. So I have to see more clients than I'm comfortable seeing. Another thing that popped up in this open-ended question is this idea that I just labeled Boundaries are challenging. When I started my private practice, I set my hours in a way that was similar to the hours I worked at an agency because it was what was familiar. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's a lot of evening work. I've been in private practice for three years and I'm finally starting to shift my schedule to the hours I actually prefer and make sense for my life and family. It's been a process to discern what I really want and what works best for me. And I've had to work through the guilt of reducing evening hours. I've been surprised at how many clients are able to make other times work. Yeah, you can definitely have a practice without working evenings if that's a priority. But what I like about what this person is sharing is they're acknowledging that kind of baggage from agency work that I was talking about of like, we just stick with what we think we're supposed to do or what we know from before. If that's what works best for you, by all means, keep it that way. But you also have the freedom to change it if something different is going to fit better for you. Another category that came up in this section, I labeled Flexibility is great. I don't think I could ever go back to working in an environment where I wasn't in total control of my schedule. Yeah, once you go one way, it's hard to go back. It's true. There's this category that I really appreciate that I'm gonna do a deep dive on the podcast version of this video where folks just share how they do their schedules. And I think this is really interesting to look at. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out in the extended podcast version. And some of you just left some really nice comments um, thanking me, which thank you, you didn't have to do that. You're the best. I think if there is a conclusion we can draw about what the ideal therapist schedule looks like, it's a schedule that allows you to earn the income that you want while having the flexibility to feel like you can set your own schedule, whatever your ideal schedule looks like for you, which can be different from person to person. So I hope for those of you who have the ability to be in charge of your schedule, you feel empowered to observe how is your current schedule working for you? Are there any tweaks that you can make to allow it to feel more ideal for you. For those of you who only have partial control or maybe very minimal or no control over your schedule, you could potentially find a workplace that best mimics where you thrive best, or you could still see if there are any ways you can advocate with your employer to see how you can have some amount of control over your schedule, if accessible. Ooh, well, I had fun putting this video together. Thank you to all of you who responded to this survey. Hopefully it was helpful to you that you can feel empowered to set a schedule that fits you well, even if it's like the slightest little change that would help you if you can go make it now because you watch this video, more power to you. And before we close, I'd like to thank therapynotes.com for sponsoring this video. Therapy Notes helps with scheduling, notes and billing. They have a HIPAA secure telehealth platform and so much more to keep your practice running smoothly. If you'd like to check out Therapy Notes, you can get two months to try it for free with no commitment just by clicking the link in the description of this video. Well, thanks for joining me with my <laughs> new fancy audio gear. And I'd love to hear from you if there are any things that you've learned along the way to help make your schedule more ideal, then leave a comment so that other folks can glean from your wisdom as well. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well.